Hi grade ones, I just wanted to send you a quick message to let you know that I'm missing you so much while we haven't been able to be together this week. I've been thinking about you and wish that we were back in our classroom having lots of fun and learning. I got a very special package in the mail these last few days. I know that we have all been really looking forward to reading this book together. It is by our fav one of our favorite authors, Jory John, who wrote The Bad Seed, The Good Egg, The Cool Bean. And so I am going to attempt to read this story um, on this video so that we can all enjoy it together as much as we can. Uh, his new book is called The Great Escape. Now, please bear with me. I have done a few trials of filming myself. I'm struggling a little bit, but that's okay. I will do my very best for you to be able to see the pictures as clearly as we can do this. So, I'll begin. The Great Eggscape by Jory John and Pete Oswald. One of the cool things that they have in this book is at the very front they have two whole pages of stickers so that when we're when we're back together you guys can take these stickers and make your own little eggs which will be really fun. Okay. <clears throat> Howdy. I'm Shell. An egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on the weekends. Before the customers arrive, they escape into the store. They call it the great eggscape. Escape, eggscape. Do you get it? Me, I'm not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind having a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. He's reading a book called Great Egg Spectations. Sure. There's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right at this very moment. We are out. We'll return whenever we feel like it. I have a few guesses. Right this very moment. We look amazing! So festive! Let's play a game! Everybody, pick a good hiding spot. Great idea! Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I'm behind the tomatoes. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. Ha ha ha! What's so funny about that? Being a potato is very serious matter. Ah, this is the life. When you live in a carton with lots of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly. Two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet? Where are Clegg and Meg, and Peg, and Egbert, and Greg, and Shelby, and Shelley, and Sheldon, and Frank, and the other Frank? Did I forget anybody? 
Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Boing! Noon? It's noon? Morning's officially over? Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. Meanwhile, he 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 he. I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all about the pickles. Sheesh. Wait. Greg? Is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see, we have you, and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm, wait a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! To get some lunch, Shell, then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt. As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good. Let's go. Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount, discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue shell. I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg. Indeed. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs, to the bulk bin aisle. Onwards. 
wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, so, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Bold coffee. Of course, Peg. Of course. I think that's where Miss Hambidge would be hiding, too. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite! <laughs> knock, knock, we know you're in there, Meg. Oh, hi, I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group, and now we're back together again. Oof. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all? A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, shall. The end. Well, grade ones, I hope you enjoyed the great escape book. It's too bad that we didn't get to read it all together in the classroom, but I thought this might be second best. Um, I have a little challenge for you, actually. Maybe it's not quite a challenge, but something that um, might be fun to do. I was thinking that if you are missing any of your classmates or your friends because you're not getting to see them, that if you write a, a little note or a little card or something, little message at home and then get um, your family to email it to me and then I can pass it on to your friends so that you guys can be sending each other little notes. If that's something that you want to do then you can begin whenever, send it to me whenever and I will pass it on to your classmates. I hope you have a really wonderful evening and I'll make sure to say hi again very soon. Talk to you later. Bye guys.